So here's just an update on the Caprice PPV. What I did is I added some Redline 10W60, 8 quarts, with a Purolator Boss oil filter on it to get me by until I get the parts to fix it. To get rid of that chirping noise. No misfires or anything. Then I got a new problem. The windshield started steaming up on me. So that means heater core. And the whole dash would have to get torn out on this thing to put a heater core in it. So I used some K seal, let it get up to operating temperature. Hopefully that'll fix it. Because I'm definitely not going to tear the dash apart on this. That'll be uh, sometime down the road. Just in the previous video, the FFV stands for Flex Fuel Vehicle, so and that's mainly what I run. I run E85 and it's most of the time. High octane once in a while. That's why there's a yellow fuel cap. E85 capable. 97,000 miles, but they were hard miles because this was a city top car. If you can make it out, but it was car number 10. Right up there. The doors used to be white, but uh, that was just a wrap. You peel it off and the roof, everything's all black. Just a work car beater. I'm getting the parts for it. I have the cam, lifters, push rods, updated rocker arms. I've been running it, put about another thousand miles on it. And when you're driving around and oil pressure builds up from the 10W60 in there, puts it to a pretty much a dead silent. You don't even hear it. You don't hear any tapping or anything other than the injectors. Runs great. What I did is I disabled the AFM. I got an AFM off of Amazon and plugged it in the OBD2 port. That disables the lifters from collapsing. So it stays in 8-cylinder mode all the time. That's what you have to do when you're running the 10W60. Because it can cause the lifters to collapse from them shutting off on the AFM system. So you want to go to Amazon and get an AFM disabler and put it in your OBD2 port to eliminate that problem. Harmonic balancer is starting to wear out. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it. But, uh, the shame if they were taking care of it better, it would have been cam would have been fine. I think it was a lack of maintenance on their behalf. They were just changing oil filter. I don't think they were even changing oil to be honest with you. The grit that came out of that when I first got it and dumped it out, it was just uh, it was pretty something else. It had low oil pressure and uh, did an engine flush and ran AMS oil for the longest time and cleared that low oil pressure up but uh, definitely one of the rollers in there the wheel on the roller I don't think it's working correctly making that screeching noise but if you need a band-aid to get you by and you need to drive it for a while before you can fix it well then I would recommend 10w60 and disable the AFM system it should be good that's it for now.